Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look in the gold market. Uh, so last week in the weekly report we said that the overall fundamental and sentiment background for gold market, market stands negative. That's why gold market will have really big problems uh, with the upward continuation. And indeed that has happened. So all attempt of the upward breakout has failed. As a result, we've got the ABCD pattern of uh, two leg retracement down that we have discussed. Uh, on Thursday, Friday. So when we saw that market really uh, has no chance to continue move higher, we're estimating downside target and first has become the OP is around 12.05. This week's situation slightly has changed because uh, on the on the sentiment analysis, we see some opening the bullish positions by the speculators or mostly speculators just have closed the shorts while the hedgers have opened some significant amount on the bullish positions. So they actually have opened shorts, but for the hedgers, they, they, they take position in the opposite direction to the anticipated movement. So and it means that they uh, take the hedge against the possible price appreciation on the gold market. So uh, that led us to keep weekly scenario well that market still could form another leg up to the 1260 area. In fact, the invalidation point of this medium-term scenario stands right here. So if market will break through the 1180 lows, it will uh, automatically erase this ABCD pattern. And it will mean that retracement is over where we should be ready for the further drop. As you know, our medium-term target to the downside stands around 1113. Uh, here we have some uh, questions. So first of all, it is unclear where market will turn to the opposite action. Well, when uh, when it's reestablished the upward trend, if it will reestablish it at all. First area that the where this could happen is right here, because this is confidence support, strong support area. This is OP target. So in fact, we have the card is able to buy, right? And here is natural support cluster. So it's natural line support, support border of the uh, previous consolidation. So it means that uh, market stands right now at a very strong support. But the one problem with that uh, is two moments. First of all, market erase the very fast upward action from the confidence support in the first touch of this level. It's 12 11. This was strong bounce, and it looks really very good, uh, which suggests that indeed market could reestablish upward action that we have talked about in the previous week. But as a result, market has erased this action. That is negative. Second, Friday acceleration was very strong. That increased chances that potentially we could get action to the XOP. Currently, it's very difficult to foresee definitely. We will see it a bit later when we see a response on this area. But this action that we see here increased chance on the on the movement to the XOP is around 11.85, 11.91. Next agreement area is also will be monthly pivot support one. At the same time, the strength of this area suggests that at least some pullback here should happen, and we will try to use it because we do not know what will happen if market indeed will reestablish our protection here. We should try and take the long position here because going long around this area will be relatively safe. Strong level should trigger at least the technical response of this area that will let us to move stops to the break even. And after that, we will see what to do. That's our trading plan. For that purpose, we need to watch for possible bullish patterns here uh, around this area. That could let us take the position. So what we have right now, we'll take a look at the follow time from chart. We have a uh, butterfly pattern that stands at 12.05. And actually, it coincides with daily OP. And you can see market hasn't quite reached it. So it means that some minor downward continuation should happen first before a real reversal will start. So it means that our area we're all watching for bullish positions will be 12.05. Second trade that you could foresee here is bread and butter sell because the drop on the recent week was really strong. 
and uh, bread and butter could start from the 1218, 1219 area. This is very good confidence resistance and vehicle pivot point. So perfect area for starting on the bread and butter. It means the potential of our first trade is 1205 to the 1218 area. So we're actually not bad move. And 13 bucks per contract very significant action. That's the second trade that we'll be watching for. Uh, so in, on Monday, we should drop our time frame even more. So we'll take a look at the 15-minute chart and watch for bullish reversal patterns. Currently, we do not see something special here on the 15-minute chart. Uh, what we see is growing bearish dynamic pressure because take a look, market has trended bullish, but price action is very gradual and slow. It means that this is just a retracement, and, and it means that downward action should happen. Also take a look that here, for example, it could become kind of the butterfly patient could be formed here maybe, or maybe it will be kind of the free drive patients, 1618 extension of this most recent retrace market stands here. Something of that sort. Just watch uh, what will happen on the 15-minute chart in the beginning of the week and uh, look for patients that will finish somewhere around 12.05. 1204 for 46 here, this will be 1618 extension. Maybe it's 127 butterfly will be formed. If any patient will be formed here, maybe hand shoulders will be formed even later. We could try it for taking the long position. As soon as market will start upward bounce, we should move our stop in the break even. That's our first step in the trading plan for the coming week.